What's up guys? We're at the junkyard, Tyler and I. What's up? And uh, we found this base model CTS. We're pulling the bumper off of it because we were at Cars and Coffee this morning and came up with the brilliant idea of how to make my car look cooler. <laughs> we're driving around with no bumper. Um, so we're trying to get this base model bumper off. And it's actually not going as smooth as it is to take a bumper off of my car. The other side went good. Yeah, the other side, I almost died, but came off. It's regular plastic, as opposed to like trying to get in there. So we're gonna try and get the fog turn signals out, and then we'll just have a bare bumper cover to use. So you wanna cut the bottom one? Yeah, I'll just slice around that. Okay. Slice it like slice the bumper itself, or just cut the bracket? I'll just cut the bumper itself, because that whole section is getting trashed anyway. This is this is literally all we need right here. I'm about to pay forty dollars for a big piece of plastic. Like, <laughs> I need a bumper, but like I don't really need the bumper. You can like rotate it and break it. I don't want to mess up the bumper too bad. Can you come? Oh yeah, so now you just kind of have to like, like meet them here. Swerve. guys so the bumper is in the V and what I'm gonna end up doing we came up with the idea of doing a bumper cut so like the 350z guys I actually saw Adam LZ do this uh, in one of his videos with his black 350z and um, the 350z guys they cut the top of the bumper so when they run with no bumper uh, with like their bash bar exposed uh, they still have like what would be the grill piece uh, on the car. So when I take the front bumper off the V and the bash bar is exposed and I'm driving around, it looks kind of weird because in between the headlights it's just an open spot. You can see the whole rad and AC condenser and all that because the grill comes off with the bumper. So I bought this base model bumper and what I'm going to be doing is cutting it so that the grill can be mounted to the car when I take the V bumper off. And uh, once I get home I'll take this out and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So I'm home now. So what we were talking about today was that whole section being gone when the bumper's off to expose the bash bar. So what I'm gonna do is ultimately cut so that I can mount the grill in that area. Uh, however, it's not gonna be a V grill to start, but I'm not sure if I wanna cut along here and leave that edge or if I just want to cut along this line which would be easier come flat across the bottom and then go up like that um, that way you'll basically see the bar all around but of course I'm not gonna cut my bumper I'm gonna cut this base model bumper so it has the base model grill which is a little uglier and no emblem so I gotta get all the double-sided tape off for that uh, I can always get an emblem, but I think I might just get like a replica of V-Grill to put in here if it works. And I think what I'm going to do is, like I just said, cut along this line to here, come straight across, and then swing back out to here. It should be rather simple, and then I'll be able to use all the tabs up top here to mount it. And then down here, I think I should be able to like throw a zip tie through, like say here and here to like hold it to the bar itself. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just gonna trash the rest. So 
I bought a bumper. I mean, it was junkyard prices, but basically bought a bumper for a thin strip of plastic and a base model grill. All right, so I'm gonna get a Sharpie. If I can find it. Those of you that follow this channel will know how messy my garage typically gets, which results in me not being able to find little things like Sharpies. Got it. What I'm going to do is, my gimbal died, so it's gonna be kind of hard to record while I cut, but it's a Sharpie to basically just run down this line. And that will be the line that I cut. And once I get to here, I'm gonna stop and then probably just go straight across. But it, it was pretty easy to do that. It just gives me a good line to cut instead of trying to uh, freehand it. I got my cutoff wheel on the Dremel. That's what we're gonna use. And it should be relatively simple. Got a line cut, stopped in the middle. Other side, got the line cut. So now it's just gonna be a matter of coming as straight as I can across here to meet the two. So here we have the grill piece cut and trimmed up. Uh, there's just a couple spots here I'm just gonna clean up, but uh, I think it's time to pull the bumper off of this and see where we size up. First step to do so, pop that piece off, and then there are going to be all these pins to there these two holding that piece on and then two here so these guys you want to pop the middle section out first and then the whole thing will lift out the middle piece is like a lock so we're gonna need to reuse those uh, that are holding the outside of the bumper on and the whole thing will just slide right off so I'm just gonna try and get some black paint on it for right now uh, temporary little black paint job I'll do something better on another day but I'm gonna try and drive around like this tonight, so I'll just get the silver part black and ride out with how it is. All right guys, so here's the finished product. I painted it black last night, let it dry. Decent match, I mean, it's just black spray paint. It's close enough for what I'm ever gonna be using this for. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I can still clean this up if I want to re like continue uh, and paint it again, which I probably will. I'll probably get a better matching black and respray it. But uh, I'm happy with it. I might try and get a replica V grill for it, but again, it's just <clears throat> I don't really care too much about it that I'm going to spend more money and get a replica V grill. I mean, I did this whole project here for I think it was a total of about. $47. So a little $47 project. Here's a front view. Just a walk around. And what I did is I used the pins. Here. So I use pin here, a pin here. Uh, the, this is all V6 related stuff. The shield here, the V's have a little spot right there. So uh, I might just run a drill, put a hole there and uh, put the pins through there. And we got pin here and pin here. So that holds the top half on. Then the lower section was kind of floppy. So I have a zip tie through the grill hole on the backside right here that goes around the bash bar. And a zip tie right here. And it all worked out. So the whole purpose of this project was to make a bumper cut for when I do eventually take this thing to the track to drift it. Um, I don't have to worry about ruining the V bumper. The V bumpers are kind of hard to get your hands on. And when they do pop up, they are pretty expensive. So I won't have to worry about damaging that bumper, but I can also not look ridiculous uh, with having no grill in the car. It's definitely a good cheap little mod to do and when i want to street drive it and show off the bash bar which looks kind of sweet it's no trouble at all so thanks for watching guys i know this is like a little in-between video while i fix the 3000 but i'll have the video coming shortly about tearing that down and figure out what was wrong about it uh subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all next time